Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Kyle here. Um, want to talk about uh, TNA. Uh, you know, over the last, I would say, four months or since TNA came back from their United Kingdom tour, which was roughly about four or five months ago, um, TNA has been everything except great. Um, and that's not a good thing because they've been everything but a great show. Uh, TNA has done a lot of stupid things. There are a few bright spots, you know, like the American Wolves being on there. Uh, I did enjoy Eric Young being a world champion, so on and so forth. Um, EC3 is still entertaining to me to a degree. Um, so, you know, there are little bright spots, but it's not enough to save the entire show. They still do, a, they've, TNA still and still are doing a lot of things wrong. However, this past Thursday night, I will have to commend TNA for doing something right. Because just this past Thursday, uh, Eric Young defended his title against Bobby Lashley, and Bobby Lashley beat uh, uh, Eric Young to become the new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. I applaud this. Reason why? Because TNA has done something that WWE has still yet to do and have not done over the last 60 freaking years, and that is crowned an African American wrestler as a world champion. Thank you, TNA. You will get an applause from me on this day for this action. Um, I consider Bobby Lashley the first TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, I know Ron The Truth Killings, a.k.a. R-Truth, uh, was the NWA uh, World Champion. Um, but, you know, that was the NWA's world title. TNA didn't have its own world title. And I know people who won the NWA title, TNA considered as, you know, former TNA World Champions because they can't go by the NWA name. But... I mean, still, I, our truth is NWA is he's, he's in that NWA record book as the second African American to win the NWA World Title. Um, so you know, with TNA having their own belt, their own brand, uh, I consider Bob Lashley to be their first African American World Champion, and I commend TNA for doing it. Um, you know, TNA did this. You know, I like Bobby Lashley. I've always liked Bobby Lashley. I've always thought Bobby Lashley. Um, I always thought Bobby Lashley was world champion material. Uh, I think that was evident when you saw his big monster push he had in WWE. Problem was, they never capitalized on him in WWE. They just fed him to Cena and then dropped the ball and then pick up where they left off. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I think Bobby Lashley, I would like to think Bobby Lashley would be a dominant champion. I don't know. Uh, TNA can book him to, you know, Kingdom Calm and his whole run be shit. Uh, but I will commend them for at least taking the initiative because TNA did this last year, you know, in crowning the first, uh, British world champion in American professional wrestling in over what, like a hundred years or something like that. WWE has, uh, Wade Barrett sitting on their hands for like four or five years. They've done absolutely shit with, they've given them like a dozen gimmicks and still not done nothing with them. Granted the bad news Barrett gimmick, it's over. But you're seeing how they're kind of using Wade Barrett now. Um, but all in all, you know, yeah, you know, the, the crown Magnus is world champion and they booked him terribly. Hopefully they will not do this with Lashley. I would think not. Um, you know, there's some people like, oh, Bobby Lashley, his voice, he's, he's not in. Who cares about his voice? Bobby Lashley doesn't. And, Bob, and actually, Bobby Lashley hasn't really spoken since he's come back into TNA, which he shouldn't speak at all, period. So, uh. You know, if they keep Bobby Lashley as as a, you know, dominant athlete, because for a, a big, muscled-up buff dude, Bobby Lashley is pretty athletic to me. Um, so, you know, I think hopefully, you know, they'll keep him as a quiet, killing, dominating champion. Uh, I know he'll be working with MVP. Hopefully he won't be doing a lot of screw jobs and cheats because it's like, why would you need to screw job and cheat when you have a big, huge, six-foot-four chisel athletic beast like Bobby Lashley. I mean, there's really no need for you to cheat too much. So hopefully they won't do that where he looked like a bogus champ. But at least the fight, they, they pulled the trigger, and I will give TNA for that. They will pull the trigger and give people a chance much better than than, than WWE would on certain occasions. Uh, I know some people think Bob, uh, Big, e, uh, Big E Langston, or Big E is what he now go as, Big E or Coffee Kings to maybe have potential. Uh, to be WWE champions, I say I will see it when I believe it in the WWE. Not discrediting Big E, uh, Big E. I think Big E probably have more of a chance than Coffee would, but I will believe it when I see it. Until then, I still say WWE will not crown an African American wrestler to be the WWE World Champion or World Heavyweight Champion, whatever. 
comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Lashley being uh, TNA World Champ this past Thursday. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Are they positive, negative? Where do you see them going? Where do you see them going from here? Uh, leave your thoughts in the box below. Peace.